Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Sa video ito, magsusolve tayo ng problems gamit ang fundamental principle of counting. So, hindi nyo pa alam yung fundamental principle of counting, pero na akong uh, video. Tignan nyo na lang sa description. So, so let's start. For number one, in how many ways can you place nine books in a shelf uh, if there is space enough for only five books? So, meron tayong nine books. Pero, yung paglalagyan natin siya, uh, lima lang yung available na space. Okay? So, first step natin dito, magdodraw tayo ng five blank spaces. One, two, three, four, five. So, ito yung nire-represent nito yung space natin dun sa ating shelf. So, lima lang daw yung available. So, limang blank space ang ilalagay natin. Now, next step natin is Uh, bibilangin natin kung ilan yung pwede natin ilagay sa bawat uh, space. So, first dito. So, ilang libro yung pwede natin ilagay? So, dahil meron tayong 9 books, ibig sabihin, 9 yung available na pwede ilagay dito na libro sa first uh, space natin shelf. So, 9. Then, for the second uh, space, meron na lang tayong 8. Kasi, naglagay na tayo dito ng isa. So, nabawasan na yung ating uh, available na book. So, 8 na lang yung pwedeng ilagay dito. Okay? Then, same din dito. Naglagay na tayo dito. Tsaka dito. So, nabawasan na ng dalawa yung uh, available na books natin. So, 9 minus 2 is 7 na lang. Okay? Then, for the fourth space nabawasan na ng tatlo naglagay na tayo dito, naglagay tayo dito at saka dito, so yung matitira na lang na books is 6 na lang 9 minus 3 is 6 then for the last one same lang yung gagawin natin nabawasan na ng apat isa dito, isa, saka dito so yung available na lang na books is uh, 4 minus 9 minus 4 is 5 na lang Okay, ganun lang yon Then, uh, by principle of counting, multiply lang natin itong uh, limang numbers. Okay? So, 9 times 8, 40, times 7, uh, 280, times 30, 0, uh, 24 8 0 0 0 na pala ta 24 so yung sagot is 8,400 so pwede nyo i-check na lang din sa calculator kung tama yung sagot ways so therefore merong 8,400 ways na pwede mong i-arrange yung 9 books sa shelf na merong limang available na space. Okay? So, for number two, in how many ways can five people arrange themselves in a row for picture taking? So, meron daw tayo dito ang five people. Magpapapicture sila. So, how many ways daw silang pwede yung i-arrange? So, again, yung first step natin is uh, dahil five people yung i-arrange natin, magdodraw tayo na limang blank spaces. Okay? So, yung limang blank spaces na to, nire-represent yung mga uh, available position para sa ating limang tao. Okay? So, now, bibilangin natin kung uh, how many uh, available people yung pwede natin ilagay sa bawat space. So, for the first position, how many people yung pwede nating ilagay. Okay, lima. Kasi meron tayong 5 people na i-arrange. So, lalagay tayo dito ng 5. Okay. Then, for the second position, meron na lang tayo dito 4 na lang. Kasi, nilagay na natin yung isa dito sa first position natin. So, nabawasan na ng isa yung choices natin. So, 5 minus 1 is 4. Okay. Then, for the third position, 
So, nabawasan ng dalawa kasi naglagay tayo dito sa first position and the second position. So, 5 minus 2 is 3 na lang. So, halos same lang din yung ginawa natin sa number 1. So, ganito lang lagi yan. Uh, counting principle. Then, for the fourth position, 2 na lang kasi nabawasan na ng tatlo. Nilagay natin dito sa first, second, and third position. So, 2 na lang. 5 minus 3 is 2. And lastly, siyempre, nalagay na natin yung apat. So, isa na lang yung magtitira. Okay? 5 minus 4 is 1. Okay? Then, by principle of counting, umultiply lang natin itong limang numbers na to. So, ganun lang siya. Uh, 5 times 4 is 20. 20 times 3 is 60. 60 times 2 is 120. So, sagot natin is 120 ways. Therefore, pwede mong i-arrange yung limang tao for picture taking in 120 ways. For number 3, if June has 12 t-shirts, 6 pairs of pants, and 3 pairs of shoes, how many possibilities can he dress himself up for the day? So, si June daw, meron siyang 12 t-shirts, 6 pairs of pants, and 3 pairs of shoes. So, how many uh, outfit daw yung pwede niyang magawa mula dito in one day? Okay. So, now, yung una natin gagawin is, so, may tatlo siyang isusuot. So, yung t-shirt, uh, yung pants, and yung shoes. Okay. So, gagawa lang tayo ng three blank spaces para sa tatlong uh, outfit na to. Okay. Then, isusulat na for the t-shirt, pants, Uh, shoes. So then, isusulat natin kung how many possible t-shirt, how many possible pants, how many possible pairs of shoes yung pwede niyang isulat. So for the t-shirt, dahil meron siyang 12 t-shirts, so 12 yung possible uh, outfit niya para sa t-shirt. Then, sa pairs of pants naman, meron siyang 6, so ibig sabihin, 6 yung possible pairs of pants na pwede niyang isulat. Then for the shoes, meron tayong 3. Then, dahil sabay-sabay niya itong isusuot yung t-shirt, yung pants, tash, shoes sa isang outfit, sabay niya isusuot yung tatlo syempre. So, ibig sabihin, imamultiply lang natin yung tatlo, okay? By principle of counting. Then, multiply lang natin. 12 times 6 is 72. Times 3, 6, 21. So, the answer is 216. Uh, possibilities. Okay? So, therefore, kung meron siyang 12 t-shirts, 6 pairs of pants, and 3 pairs of shoes, meron siyang 216 possible outfits uh, for the day. Or 216 uh, choices ng outfit. So, ganun lang yan. Sana maraming natutunan sa video nito. And, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.